So today I'm going to do another light review. I'm going to do a quick unboxing and then demonstration and comparison of this new SGLED's RGB floodlight. Now this floodlight is the 100 watt version and I have reviewed the 70 watt version of this light previously. Um, so I suspect that they will be very similar, and we're going to find out right now. Um, user manual. You get the light itself, a remote, and a couple of concrete anchors for, I guess, mounting into your brick wall outside. The light itself is constructed out of... Um, mostly plastic and they have these ceramic backed LED elements you have a stamp steel bracket and the knobs well for tightening the bracket you use a, a hex wrench um, other other models use knobs I like the uh, these socket cap screws because they just make the overall package look nice and compact and sleek and it would be something that I wouldn't mind having attached to the exterior of my home. So let me bring in the 70 watt unit here that I have. And as you can see, the 70 watt unit has only about two thirds the number of elements as the 100 watt unit. So it's about uh, two thirds, theoretically, two thirds as bright as what this 100 watt unit will be. And I will test that here. So the 70 watt light has 12 elements. The 100 watt light has 18 elements. So let's go ahead and plug these in and we'll do we'll do a little bit of uh, testing and um, I'll try to do a good comparison. Okay, so the, what I'm going to compare the 100 watt uh, fixture to will be a 50 watt white LED floodlight by Sansi, which uses very similar technology. And then I will also compare it to the 70 watt SGLEDs RGB floodlight. I'm gonna so I'll see how its white uh, light performance compares to an actual true white light, and then I'll compare the RGB performance to another similar RGB floodlight. Okay, to try to make this test as accurate as possible, I have set my ISO and my white balance and my exposure all to fixed settings that won't change. And so right now you're looking at this scene with the overhead lights in my basement on. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the 70 watt RGB SGLED's floodlight. Okay, I'm just going to cycle through some colors here. There's red, there's green, and there's blue. And of course it has all the other variations of the colors in between. But mainly I want to focus on the red, the green, and the blue. Here is the 100 watt SGLED's RGB floodlight. I'm not sure if you can tell from your vantage point, but the intensity of these colors are much brighter than the 70 watt light, which totally makes sense considering the larger amount of wattage that this light puts out. So let me run through all the different color options. And then back to red, green, blue. This is the 50 watt white LED Sansi floodlight. As you can see, the white light is very bright because it is the only color that this floodlight makes. And it is very uh, useful for lighting up dark working conditions and being used as a general shop light. Here is the white light coming from the 100 watt RGB SGLED's floodlight. 
I think the color balance is really nice on this white light. It's definitely not as washed out as the white LED Sansi floodlight. Here is the white level performance of the 70 watt SG LED RGB floodlight, just to compare to the others. Some of the features of this light is that um, it does have certain effects that you can control. So it, so it has this strobe effect here. It has this flash effect that changes between the colors. It has this fade effect where it fades out and into a different color between each. It's basically the strobe effect, but it changes colors in between. And then it has this smooth transition mode where it smoothly transitions between all the different colors. There are some other options um, that I haven't quite yet looked into, but you have memory keys where you can actually you have memory keys on the remote where you can actually uh, program you know how you want this uh, light to behave. One more cool feature about this is if you own more than one of these lights, the same remote will control um, both of them, or as many as you have. So as you can see, I have the two lights here and the single controller, and the one, con the one uh, remote will control both lights. So there you have my quick review of the SGLED's 100 watt RGB floodlight. If you have some holiday decorating that you'd like to do, or you want to have a nice flashy light show at a party, or um, if you do what I do with them and I use them as ambiance and background lighting for my videos, uh, these lights do really, really well. They're super bright, and they're a lot of fun, and they are pretty much, they pretty much do anything that you need them to do. So if you're interested in checking one of these out, go ahead and click in the link that I'll provide in the description below. And if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe and so you won't miss any more of the reviews and other content that I provide on this channel. Uh, once again, my name is Tom and this is Southpaw Workshop. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.